Hello people today, we will take a closer look at the Yellowstone Hyperpredator, the largest macro predator in Earth's history. This giant was discovered in a private collection, however, as of now not much is known about where the fossils originally came from. In my previous videos, I called it a macroraptorial sperm whale, however that's not entirely true, because it's actually closer related to modern-day sperm whales and Fisiterula than to macroraptorial sperm whales like Liviatan acrophyceta or Zygophyceta. Now what you all have been waiting for, this whale was truly a leviathan. It's 23 meters long and weighs 130 tons on average. The biggest specimen on record, as of now, is over 26 meters long and weighs 205 or more tons. It easily dwarfs all other macro predators. Here in the size comparison, you can see it compared to the Swiss tyrant at 18,5 meters and 55 tons, Liviatan melvilli at 17,5 meters and 65 tons, the Hell Creek pliosaur at 19,2 meters and 71,1 tons, and Otodus megalodon at 24,1 meters and 164.3 tons, and it dwarfs all of them. Now to its bite force, it has an unbelievable bite force of 34 to 44 tons that's more than twice as strong as the biggest megalodon bite force. Its bite was strong enough to crush the bones of the biggest whales and break the shells of the biggest turtles. No animal can contest with its bite force. This leviathan lived in late Oligocene and maybe the early Miocene and was the apex predator of this environment. It hunted everything in its environment, baleen whales, macroraptorial sperm whales, otters, sharks, seals, marine sloths, giant fish. Literally everything from a certain size on was on the menu. Its giant jaws were enough to make quick work out of any animal in its environment, the only animal that could pose a threat to an adult would be another adult of its own kind. Fossils indicate that they rammed each other in aggressive confrontations just like modern sperm whales. Fossil evidence indicates that this giant predator ambushed and rammed its prey from below. However, certain fossils indicate that this giant could have also pursued prey over long distances. Most prey items probably died upon the impact of a 200-ton whale ramming into them at 58 kilometers an hour, and the few that survived were left at the mercy of its deadly jaws. As of now, the only animal that could potentially rival this monster was the Ost Colossus, who sadly is too fragmentary to get a good reconstruction of it. Megalodon? Ha, ah, no way. The most conservative estimate of the hyperpredator already has a 41-ton size advantage over the most controversial estimate of Megalodon. Any other animals that could beat it? Probably not. It's almost four times the size of animals like Liviatan. So with this new information, the Yellowstone hyperpredator takes the top spot amongst macro predators at more than 26 meters long and with a weight of more than 205 metric tons. Otodus megalodon takes spot number two at 24 meters and with a weight of 164 tons. Close behind at spot number three comes the sperm whale with a length of 24 meters and a weight of 150 tons. Spot number four goes to the Hell Creek Pliosaur at 19.2 meters and a weight of 71.1 tons, and place number five goes to Liviatan at 17.5 meters and a weight of 65 tons. Close behind at place number six is the Swiss Tyrant at 18.5 meters and a weight of 55 tons. Here are size comparison between all the prehistoric giants. As we already discussed, the Ost Colossus is too fragmentary to be used. However, if it turns out to be a macro predator, it would probably take the number one or two spot. 
Here in the size comparison, you can see what the current estimated maximum for Aust Colossus looks like next to the others. But remember, Aust wasn't fully grown. For everybody wondering, no, we don't know if Peracetus was a macro predator or not. However, with his current maximum size of 106 tons, he would at best take spot number four on this list. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe. And what would this video without a post credit scene be? Don't forget to turn on your notifications so you don't miss my next video where I will reveal the possibly largest marine reptile apex ever to you. A monster that even surpasses the gigantic Swiss tyrant with teeth the size of machetes. This new giant will rewrite our understanding of the power hierarchy in the Mesozoic Oceans.